Labs. It was collected using fulcrum in Baltimore City and represents dialysis clinics. This is the raw data downloaded from fulcrum as a spreadsheet. And here I have the Baltimore Dialysis Center's spreadsheet open in Excel. And I have it open just so that I can check for latitude and longitude columns, which I can see, and also just to generally familiarize myself with the data set. And once I'm familiar with it, I can close Excel. Now I have my web browser open to the Cardo site and I'm logged into my account. I've clicked this drop down menu and switched to my data sets versus my maps. That's where we're going to start. To import the spreadsheet, I'll click the new data set button. And since my data is a local Excel spreadsheet, I'll use the default data file option. From there, I'll click the browse button and navigate to my lab folder and select the Baltimore Dialysis Center spreadsheet and click open. Next, I'll click the connect data set button. And while it imports, I'll see the progress bar in the lower left hand corner. And once the import process is complete, the spreadsheet appears as a table in my browser in Cardo. So let's get oriented. In the upper left, you can see the red private button, which allows you to set privacy settings for this data set. Along the upper right are three buttons that allow you to add a row, add a column, or export the data. In the lower left is a switch that allows you to enable an SQL editor. If you know SQL, this allows you to filter the data with queries. To see the data on the map, I'll click the Create Map button. This opens the data in the Cardo Builder interface. And the map is created with the same name as our original data layer. And this map will now be listed under my maps on my dashboard. So the points generated from the spreadsheet are opened in the Cardo Builder interface, and they're small orange points on a light gray base map. I can navigate in on the map using the zoom and pan buttons. Now that we have our data in here, let's get oriented to the Cardo Builder interface. The map name is up at the top, and by default, it's the same as our data layer. And we can change that with this ellipse button, which we'll do later. Below that is the red privacy button, which lets us set permissions for our map like we could for our data sets. Below that is the add layer button, which will allow us to add data from our account to the map. And below that is a table of contents. On top, we have the labels from the Positron base map. Below that, we have our Baltimore Dialysis Centers layer. And below that, the Positron base map. Now I'll add several shape files to the map. I'll open the Lab 6 data folder in Windows Explorer. And notice the spreadsheet that I've added to my Cardo map. Also notice that there are three zip files. Each of these contains a shape file. If you're going to upload a shape file to Cardo, it's best to zip the component files of that shape file into a zip file of the same name. The entire shape file needs to be included. This means the .shp, the .dbf, the .shx, and the .prj minimally. Now I'll bring my web browser back up, and I'll click the Add Data button. This begins the process of adding a new layer to my map. It opens the Add New Layer window, and if I have other layers in my account, they'll be listed here and I could add them to my map if I wanted to. To add a new layer to my account and the map, I'll click the Connect Dataset button. I'll again click the Browse button and navigate to my lab data. And this time I'll select the Baltimore City Boundary zip file. I'll click Open, and then I'll click the Add Layer button. I again get a progress bar in the lower left, and when the data is imported, it appears on my map. And don't worry about the layer styling yet. It's random at the moment, and we'll change that in task three. I've gone ahead and also added the food deserts and the neighborhood diabetes to my map. And the layers have different colored icons with alphabetical designations, A, B, C, D. The small eye icons to the right of each layer are layer visibility toggles. Clicking on that icon turns a layer on and off. The vertical ellipsis to the right of that opens up a layer-specific menu that allows you to do things like rename and export the data for that layer. So all my data for the map has been uploaded. And in Cardo, all my changes are saved automatically, so I don't need to save anything myself. And in the next task, I'll style the data.